So today I thought I'd go over how to get an S-curve on your Verpal joystick. Now the reason why you might want an S-curve on your Verpal joystick is to get a little bit finer control, especially if you're using like fixed weapons in a game like Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen. This will allow you to have, like, when you move your joystick, it won't be as jumpy. You'll get a little bit more uh, smooth control, I guess, would be a good way to saying it. Anyway, I've been running an S-curve on mine for quite a while, and I really enjoy it a lot. But anyway, it's a little bit complicated on the Verpal versus other stuff, like I've use a x56 as well or an x52 logitech so anyway let's jump right in i'll get kind of with my baseline recommendations on how you do it so the ones that you probably are going to want this on is the x y and z axis well maybe z that's yaw so maybe not so much that but the x and y are <coughs> your roll and pitch up and pitch down most likely depending on how you have your controls set up so anyway, you jump into here, uh, we will clear that, and then my, kind of the, so what you will, you need to change these numbers here. Probably when you first come in here, it's going to be disabled and you're not going to be able to do it. So you need to come here, normal will only adjust one side at a time, so you're going to want to do it symmetric so that you get both of them adjusted at the same time. Kind of what I like to do in my main hand, like this is going to be different if it's for your left hand probably, but this is a, a good baseline for your main hand. I like to do 12 there, and you're going to see it adjusting over there on the graph as these change. Or, yeah. But first, for the first one, I like to go 8, then 12, then 20, then I like to jump up to 30. 40, then 50, then 65, then I jump up to 80, then 90, and this is generally how I like to have it set up for my main hand. Now, this is a pretty good baseline for most ships in the game. You, I would start off here, and then if you want it to be like, hey, my ship's not moving enough if I, when I move my joystick, like depending on how you use it, you can come in here and adjust these numbers. The higher the number you go here, the more movement you'll get from that particular section on the graph. <clears throat> so, Basically, you'll want to go through and you want to do it to the X and Y. And then uh, the Z, this is your yaw, so you're probably going to want to have this a little bit different. I have the Verpal on my left hand, so I run, kind of for my thrusters, I run like a more, uh, oh, kind of a weirder one for that. This is what I found it, I like for uh, just running my thrust in different directions. So... You could copy this one as well if you like that. But if you're doing it for your main hand, uh, I guess I didn't save it. But um, what I would recommend is doing the 8, then 12, then 20, then 30, 40, 50, and 65, then 80, then 90. Than 100. That's what I'd recommend for a main hand for a good adjustment and being able to aim better with uh, your, fixed we your fixed weapons. So anyway, uh, that's going to be all of it, all of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you.